fear for two years. And then also, I pay cash for all my care. I pay cash for my physicians. Because um, since I am diabetic, I go to the doctor about every three months. I pay cash for all my labs. I pay cash for all my medications. And thank God that I am a physician, that I was able to afford all that. And I never, my continuity of care never failed because I could afford it. But unlike millions of Americans, they could not do that. So their health care was just flat, <coughs> or they wouldn't see a physician, or they wouldn't go to the doctor, or they wouldn't take their medications. But now, in 2010, I was able to get health insurance. And then in 2014, Medicaid expansion happened. And that was awesome. It was awesome for me. It was awesome for my patients. My patients came in like they won the lot. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, I got that medical. And they were like, I can go to the doctor. Thank God. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were coming in. It's like, oh, I, I haven't had health care in decades. I can see you, Dr. Richmond. You can take care of my calluses. You can take care of my diabetic feet. I was worried I was going to lose my limb because I know so many friends who have lost their limbs because they could not see a podiatrist. And then they would tell me, oh, I'm going to get my teeth fixed. I'm so happy. I'm going to get me some dentures. Because by then, their, feet, their teeth were horrible, so they were going to lose their teeth. But then they were so happy they could even get dentures. And they're like, oh, I'm going to see my eye doctor. I can see now. I'm going to get some glasses. <laughs> and then it changed my practice. I went from 10% uninsured, so I'm now to less than a decimal point. I'm about 0.5% uninsured. Wow. I went from three employees to six. I went from one doctor. I'm, I have an ad running now. I'm looking for another physician because I'm so busy. I'm in the dead of winter. I'm seeing 30 patients a day now. Wow. Wow. This time last year, I was seeing 10 to 15. And this summer, I'll probably be up to 40 to 60. So, you know, I'm thankful for what the president did. I'm thankful for his sacrifice. I'm thankful for his fight. I'm thankful for his grit. I'm thankful he didn't give up because he didn't give up on me. He didn't give up on my patients. He didn't give up on my, up on my patients' children and their children. This legacy will live on forever. And I'm thankful for what he did. And I just want everyone, you know, the naysayers and the people who say it's the worst thing ever, they've never been uninsured, so they don't understand. They've always had health insurance. But when you live through that, and then you personally take care of people who live with it, you can never understand. So I just want you to understand what he did will live on, his legacy will live on. And everyone that benefits from what he did, we will always be thankful to the president for the Affordable Care Act. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.